This is the solution to test number 3 for EE206 circuits 1. Now the first problem is something you see in the lab. On the oscilloscope I've got two sine waves. I want to know what is the frequency and the phase representation for those sine waves. The frequency is 1 over the period. The period, if I take the peak to peak, is 30 milliseconds. I can also take zero crossing to zero crossing. Uh, falling edge from here to here is 30 milliseconds. So the frequency is 1 over 30 milliseconds, 33.33 hertz. The amplitude is the peak. This has an amplitude of about 13 volts. Y has an amplitude of about 9 volts. The phase shift, the delay for X is roughly 5 milliseconds. 5 over 30 is that percentage of 360, minus 60 degrees. The delay on Y is roughly 2 milliseconds. 2 over 30 that percentage of 360 degrees is about minus 24 degrees. The negative sign comes from delay. Delays have a negative phase shift. Positive phase shift is an advance. Most systems you'll ever see have a negative phase shift. Problem two is adding resistors in parallel. This is where HP calculators really shine. So to illustrate that, let's find this impedance using an HP calculator. I start with 90 plus J70. In parallel with 80, so 1 over R1, inverse of 80, those together give you 47 plus J 13 ohms. In series with minus J30, gives you 47 minus J 16 ohms. That's in parallel with 200 plus J 150, so 1 over R1, 200 I 150, 1 over R2, add them together, Together gives you 44 minus J8 ohms. And series with 50 gives you 94.228 minus J8.358 ohms. That's an HP calculator. Problem 3 is similar. If I am at 500 radians per second, the impedance is 1 over J omega C. So C is 10 microfarads, 10 e minus 6. The frequency is 500. So the impedance is 200. So it's actually be minus J200. Multiply that by I. 0 I1 times inverse minus J200 ohms. That's the 10 microfarad. The 20 will be half that, minus J100. The 30 will be 1 third of 200, minus J66 ohms. Now to find the total impedance, I've got 30 or 300 minus J6666. That's in parallel with minus J100. So 1 over R1, there's minus J100 inverse. Gives you 25 minus J85 ohms in series with 200. Now in parallel with minus J200, 1 over R1, 1 over R2, atom, plus 100 ohms. So that's the net impedance. 168.043 minus J113. Problem four. There's a couple ways to solve this problem. What I would use if I have access to MATLAB is I'd use MATLAB. Here, just write the node equations. I've got three equations, three unknowns. V0 is Vn. In phasor form, that's 10 minus J20. Uh, the capacitor, since frequency is 500, it's minus J200 minus J100. Write the node equation of V1 node equation of V2, and solve. So this would be V0 is 10 minus J20, node equation of V1, node equation of V2. Place a matrix form, throw it in MATLAB, and solve. So there's your answer. What this means is the real part is cosine minus J is sine. So your answer is the real part is cosine minus J is sine, that's V1. And for the second one, real part is co cosine minus J sine. That's V1 and V2. Problem 5 is the same thing, only twice as hard, because they have two frequencies. Treat this as two separate problems, one where the input is 10 cosine 500 T, a second problem when the input is 11 sine 600 T. Now to solve the first one, this is in red, find the impedances at 500 radians per second, that's minus J200, minus J100, and the input is 10 plus J0. Write your node equations, solve, and I get V0 
v0, v1, v2. Again, real parts cosine minus j sine. Repeat at 600 radians per second. Now at 600, the capacitors become minus j166 ohms and minus j83 ohms. The input is 11 plus j0. Actually, 0 minus j11. It's a sine wave. Uh, let's see, solve, and I get your v0, v1, v2, real is cosine minus j is sine. Put them together, and here's my answer. The first part is the cosine and sine at 500 radians per second. The second part was the cosine and sine at 600 radians per second. Note that the two don't simplify. You can't add the two together. All sine waves are orthogonal, so you have to treat it like two separate problems. Problem number six. Here it's easier to do in MATLAB. Input the function into MATLAB first. A0 is the average, which is 3.14. A1 is the projection of the function on cosine, which is 0. Projection onto sine is minus 2. Projection onto cosine at double the frequency is 0. Projection onto sine at double the frequency is minus 1. And if you really wanted, I could go on to the second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic, fifth harmonic. That's the Fourier series. Basically, doing a curve fit, approximate this function with a bunch of sine waves. That's test number three for EE206.